Okay, hi, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alright, today I'm going to teach about mathematics year three, which is place value and partition. So my slide will cover this learning standard, which is uh, state the place value and digits value of any number, and then uh, partition any number according to the place value and digits value. Alright, what is it? what is a place value? Okay, place value is value is value of each digit in a number based on its position. Okay, the position here. Is the meaning of the place value okay after that i will show you and then uh, what is the digit value the di digit value is the true value of the digit itself in a number okay never mind i will teach you i will give you example of this okay okay why do i need to know place value and digit value why kenapa why we want to learn about place value and this value okay can you see this picture okay place value and this and digits value it help us to recognize and and write a number okay for example here this calculator you shows that 3589 right so the words 1180 ty here it means the place value so we want to say the number according to the place value that's why we need to learn we need to know about the place value so that we can say a number okay Okay, for digits value so that we can know how much is the number is okay all right uh, how to say a number and how much is the number okay all right now okay so this is my uh what we call that the card in malay we call it the card or counting counting bits lah. okay okay so for example i write here 3425 so the first pole here we write has five a we put five bits okay one two three four five next pole we put two the third pole pole we put four and the fourth pole we put three okay this this will uh, make 3425 how Okay, for example, okay, for example, I just put this bit and write, and then you write three four five, three four two five. How are we gonna say this number? Macam mana kita nak baca nombor ni? If you don't know, if you don't know how, what is the place value of itself of each pole here? So that's why we put once in the first pole, tens the second pole, third pole is hundreds and the fourth pole is thousand. So actually, we do not kita tak panggil the first pole is first pole okay second pole okay actually we call it the first pole is ones okay second pole is ten hundreds and thousands pole okay that's why when we read the number we call it as uh, this is what we call a place value this is place value thousands hundreds tens and ones okay so that's why we read as three thousand four hundred and twenty five all right uh, that is the uses of place value sebab tu kita boleh kena belajar kita kena tahu place value ni untuk kita baca nombor so that we can learn so that we can say the number okay we say the number according to the place value kita sebut nombor berdasarkan tempat dia ni ada tempat okay 3425 alright uh, if I had got uh, this one is events uh, events or idea you, kalau you ada satu lagi pool in the left side I it will come 10,000 okay thousand ten thousand hundred thousand and million eh? okay next state the digits value of each digit in 3,435 just now we get the value 3,435 for place value so we go to the digits value how to state the digits value of each number here 3,425 so we must divide one by one okay for example five ones right five with the place value of ones right okay, wait 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 okay five is the place value of ones three are uh, two is the place value for ten so we write five is five two tens become twenty next four hundred four hundred is four zero zero and next is three thousand three thousand is three zero zero Okay, understand? Alright, so this is what we call yang kita kata tadi. And just now, we, I said just now, it uh, we know the how much is the number is. For example, for digits 3 here, the number itself is 3000, not 3. 
for this one 400 is actually 400 400 is it is not only four okay this two is 20 five is one okay five that's why i say just now digits value is teach us how much is the digit in a number okay Okay, this, this is what we call digits value, okay? Right. Okay, this is your exercise. State the place value for underlying digits. 7,250, what is the, the answer? Uh, what I, for example, I give one answer. Uh, A, 7,250. The answer for this is hundreds. Uh, the place value, I ask for place value. If digits value, you must write 200. Okay, so I skip for now. Okay, alright. We go to the partition. Okay, partition 9432. 9432. How we want to partition this? Cerakin can. In Malay, we call it as cerakin. So, kalau dalam partition, cerakin maksudnya kita pecahkan dia. From one number, this is what we call a number. One number, eh? this is one number. 9432 is, a one, is one number. This one number contain four digits. One, two, three, four. Four digits in one number. So, when you partition, must have four number lah. Bila kita cerakin kan, mesti ada empat nombor. Sebab dia ada empat digit. Nine, four, three and two. So, dia pecahkan. Okay, cerakin kan dia. Two, thirty, four hundred according to its digits value lah. Ah, bila awak cerakin macam ni, bila awak pecahkan dia, when you break up this number into four numbers, ah, this is according to its digits value. Ini awak pecah berdasarkan digits value dia. Okay, tapi ini bukan jawapannya. This is not the answer. Because I ask for partition. I don't ask to list out the digits number. So, macam mana jawapan partition? You must have this plus signal i uh, signal okay plus sign sorry the signal sign okay mesti ada simbol tambah okay you must have simbol tambah kalau awak tak ada simbol tambah bermakna awak salah lah okay you must have uh, uh, plus sign uh, this is what we call partition okay okay there's another uh, form ada satu lagi cara nak buat partition dia gunakan place value Okay, tengok sini. Tadi kita guna digits value. So, all number will come up. When we use place value, mesti ada nilai term, tempat. Mesti ada thousand, mesti ada hundred, mesti ada tens and ones. So, we call it this one. Nine thousand, four hundred, three tens and two ones. Then you add up plus sign here. That's why this, is, this become partition. So, inilah jawapan untuk partition. Cerakinkan. Okay. So, awak kena tengok salah. You must look at the question. If the answer, if the question ask you partition according to its digits value. So, digits value mesti ikut nombor. Mesti number. Kalau partition ikut place value, mesti ikut dia punya what we call that? Place value lah. Alright. So, I think that's all for me. Okay, I hope all of you can answer the question just now. Yang sebelum ni saya dah tunjuk. Nanti you buat okay. Alright, sekian. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.